It's Kyle here, and with the start of 2016, I thought it was a great time to look back at all the um, books I'd read in 2015, and I decided to pick out um, the five favorite books I read last year and kind of do a quick little video on highlighting my five favorites. A um, couple of notes about this list. Um, one, I'm only doing one book per series in this top five list, so a good example of this is um, one of the books in the Game of Thrones series is on the list. Um, but I actually read three of those books in 2015, but like I said, this one makes the top five. And I have another book that is also a series that made the top five that I read multiples of in 2015. So that's one little note. And the other note is um, I'm not saying these books were published in 2015. I just happened to read them for the first time in 2015. And really other than that, that's the only criteria. So I'll go ahead and get started with my fifth favorite book I read in 2015 and the only nonfiction book um, to make my list, and that is Lost to the West, um, The Forgotten Byzantine Empire That Rescued Western Civilization by Lars Brownworth. Very, very interesting um, book about the Byzantine Empire, um, how it emerged from the um, collapse of the Roman Empire, from its um, the strong points of the Byzantine Empire, when someone was a major power, to the... Um, very end when it was just barely holding on as um, basically a city-state. Um, very fascinating um, book, um, especially when it goes into details about some of the more um, famous and infamous leaders of the Byzantine Empire. Cause there's there's some quite some characters who are involved in the Byzantine era, Empire. So, and I never had read a book just about the Byzantine Empire, so it was kind of a new topic to me. So. Really enjoyed Lost to the West by Lars Brownsworth. Um, number four is um, Red Rising by Pierce Brown, the first book of the series. Um, also read um, the second book in the series in 2015, but I enjoyed Red Rising a little bit more, mainly just because it was the first book and kind of got me going into the series. But I love this series so much, so I'm looking forward to the next book coming out because the first two books was awesome, but Red Rising was a great start to... Uh, uh, awesome series, which I don't think got quite as much as attention as it deserved compared to some other um, hugely popular um, YA dystopian series who have hit it big in recent years. But um, an interesting blend of kind of science fiction with the YA, YA dystopian that I really um, haven't seen done as well as Pierce Brown's done in this series. The characters are fascinating. The world building is so detailed and so fascinating that um, I just have to give my um, hats off to Pierce Brown. He did an amazing job in the world building aspect of it, and he expands on it in the second book in the series. So um, if you like great sci-fi, if you like um, a lot of the great Y dystopian series that have come out in recent years, check this book out. I mean, it's a great read. If you're a sci-fi fan, don't want the fact that it's some people um, classified as Y dystopian scary off and think, why well, I'm not into that. It's a great sci-fi book, so check out Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Number three on my list is um, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I'm sure I don't have to go into much detail about this book. It's um, obviously very, very well known, this series. Um, I'd always been interested in the series. It always sounded really, really um, good to me, and um, but I'd never had started the series. One reason... Um, when I first found out about it, I just happened to be reading a couple other very big and lengthy series, and I just didn't feel like taking on another long and lengthy series until I finished those up. And I happened to finish those up towards the end of 2014, so I decided 2015 is the year I'm going to start reading um, George R. R. Martin's awesome series. So I actually just finished the third book in the series um, a couple of days ago, so um, loving it. Very, very great books. Um, love the characters. I mean, definitely it's very unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen next. Action-packed. Um, again, kind of like uh, Red Rising. Great, awesome world building, which is always a facet of books that I really enjoy. And I will mention, I haven't started watching the TV series. I really wanted to read the books first. So, um, you know, uh, every once in a while, just because Game of Thrones is so big, the TV series, I've heard stuff. So there's some stuff I was aware was going to happen before I... I read the books, but I didn't really know when and where and that type of stuff. So, um, But I'm looking forward to finishing um, the books that have been published so far so I can start watching the TV series because, again, I've heard nothing but great things about that. But A Game of Thrones is my number third favorite book I read in 2015. 
Number two, and I should say I had a really, really hard time deciding which of the my top two was um, one and two. I kept on going back and forth which one I wanted to get in the number one slot. In the end, I decided to go um, with The Martian, which means Ready Player One got the number two slot by uh, Ernest Cline. Awesome book, very unique premise, um, very funny, very interesting, um, very intriguing and unique plot. I loved how this book delved into um, nerdy pop culture and kind of worked it in to a very fascinating story. Um, I'm sure a lot of people out there watching this video have read Ready Player One. It's a huge bestseller. Um, really, really loved it. Um, obviously, since I earned my number two spot on the list. Um, so if you haven't read Ready Player One yet, check it out. It has a very unique premise, so um, instead of me trying to explain it here in this shorter video, just you know, Google it and you can find a more in-depth description of what Ready Player One is. But go read it. If you love reading, Ready Player One will be an awesome book for you to check out. And our number one book on my list uh, for favorite books I read in 2015, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, is The Martian by Andy Weir. I should mention the movie is also very great. It's one of the better um, adaptations I've seen in a long time. They did a great job of um, honoring the book, but at the same time making the movie entertaining on its own right, so you don't really have to read the book to also enjoy the movie. But this is a awesome book. Definitely one of those that falls in that category where I had a hard time putting it down. You just wanted to constantly read because every chapter almost always seems like the end of this huge cliffhanger. You're like, well, I have to read how to figure out how this resolves. And then something else happens to you. Just, you get stuck in the sock when you read through it and you love it. Um, but The Martian, if somehow you miss this great book and you miss the huge movie that came out last year, is about an astronaut who gets stranded on Mars during a mission, and then um, NASA and really the rest of humanity's attempts to try to save him and bring him back to Earth. Um, this book is all about the main character. It's a very funny, interesting character that you learn to love and care about and really want him to be rescued. Um, but his sense of humor is really what makes this book work. Um, I should say this book also has a lot of a lot of profanity, a lot of F-bombs being dropped in the book. So if, you know, if you're not a huge fan of reading profanity, you, know, you might want to stay away from The Martian, but I would recommend it. Um, if you're okay with that, read The Martian. It's an awesome, awesome book. I mean, as you can see, it was my favorite book I read in 2015. So, hope you enjoyed my list. What I'd like you to do in the comment section below is let me know what was your favorite book you read in 2015. And, um, if there's any books you think I should check out in 2016 based on the books you know I enjoy. So look forward to seeing what you say in the comment section below. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, look forward to seeing you on this channel with a lot of great videos in 2016. See you next time.